We're here at our local PetSmart shooting a video about what uh, things you should think about to get for your new puppy. We are asked a lot about what products we use uh, and what people should get for their new puppy. So we thought we would take a moment and share with you some of the things that we would recommend that you pick up before you pick up your new puppy, whether it's from us or anyone else. This is my brother Trevor. Hi everyone. And I'm Megan. So first we'll start out with pee pads. We start all of our puppies out on pee pads because we do not put them on the ground um, outside because of the risks of parvo and parasites and things like that. So we recommend that you start using pee pads and move to going outside. Um, the brand that we like to use is Top Paw. Uh, we like them because of the fact that they have uh, stickies kind of like a post-it note on the bottom uh, so that they stay in place um, they do have the pheromone attractant and we have not had any issues with uh, the leaking um, and also they help with the smell um, so that's the brand that we really like also as far as chews uh, there are several to choose from um, we are big fans of the yak chews um, so this is some right here. Um, they, uh, this one has a bully stick with it, which we also really like. Um, you can put them in boiling water and they puff back up. So they are a nice investment that lasts for a really long time. Uh, if you do any research, you will find out that rawhide is not a good choice for your dog. Um, and so the other thing that we use a lot is pig ears. Not necessarily this brand, um, there are a lot of brands out there, but I like pig ears. They're not really messy. Um, they last a pretty good while with teething puppies um, and they are completely edible. Um, so also, um, if you are going to deal with any type of uh, being in heat, these are some fabulous uh, products. Uh, we use the belly bands for our for our males. So there's wraps, and then there are also disposable. We typically use the disposable ones. Um, I just personally like them better. Uh, you will get lots of opinions on this, but um, I use this brand, and also there's one at Walmart that I like. Um, but when you have females in heat. Um, you have different types of diapers and then also um, these as well. I find these do work well with your females to make sure that you don't get blood on any of your furniture or anything because we recommend that you wait to spay or neuter until after eight months so they will also have had their first heat. Um, and then looking at things for what we use when you have accidents. Um, I am a huge fan of Nature's Miracle. Uh, the reason that I like them is because it's a natural product and it does have a really good uh, enzyme killer in it and I find that it works really well. Um, just make sure that whatever product you use um, that it has an enzyme killer because that is really what's going to make sure you don't deal with the smell. Hi guys! So moving on. Trying not to film anyone that wouldn't want to be filmed. So, we really like the Everlast Treat Balls. Um, these work really well to use for a long period of time. You can get um, things to put back inside of them, so you can buy refills for them. Um, for our size, you actually don't need one this big. Uh, we typically use this size. Yeah, a little smaller, a little better. Um, or this size, and then these are the refills. Um, we have found that our dogs really like this brand um, of the Everlast Treat Ball. And then I'm looking to see where Kong usually has some good puzzle toys. Let me see if I can find one. Okay, so 
One of the things that we really encourage uh, our puppy owners to use is puzzle toys. The reason that we encourage pu puzzle toys is that 90% of a dog's life in the wild is spent finding food. So when we just put their food in a bowl, we're taking away so much of what they like to do. So using uh, puzzle toys, and this is just one, and you can go on Amazon, and there are tons of them. Hold on, do you want to go grab some of the other ones? This frog is up there. That, we use that one a lot. Yeah. Um, so you put the toys in here, and then when you're going to be at work all day, it gives them something to do. Uh, a busy schnauzer is a happy schnauzer. And then this is one we use a lot. So you uh, shove the treats or their actual food in here, and then they have to work on getting it out. If you find that they are getting in and out of it very quickly, another awesome option is to add a little bit of peanut butter or wet dog food or something like that and freeze it. Um, some dogs that figure out their puzzle toys really quickly, that adds another level. Um, same thing with Kongs. So this one just happens to be a Kong Extreme. They have ones that are specifically for puppies that are a little bit easier on their teeth. Um, and these are another excellent uh, thing that I encourage people to have when they take their puppy home, um, putting their food inside of it. Uh, I like to put uh, a liver treat in the very end of it. And when you put the liver treat in the very end of it and then um, some puppy food and maybe a little, like I said, peanut butter, wet dog food, um, a little bit of uh, broth, something like that. Uh, and then you freeze it. And then, as I said, throw it in there overnight or while uh, you're at work. Uh, it keeps them busy and not sitting there thinking about missing you. There is also always the uh, Kong fills and there are lots of different options for those. So you'll figure out as you go along what would work well for you. Is this like the peanut butter? Yes. Is that why it's... Yep, so you can just spray it in there. Um, we have a lot of dogs, so financially that's not really a great choice for us, but for someone that only has one or two dogs, that might work really well for you. Um, as far as any other toys, um, you'll really find out from, uh, if you're getting a puppy from us, uh, we like to fill people in on what type of toys their dogs like. Some dogs are really into balls. Some dogs really like ropes. Some dogs like squeakies. Some dogs are afraid of squeakies. Um, some dogs like the ones that have um, the crinkle sound. So whichever one that you find um, from your breeder or as you're playing with your dog and learning what they like, you'll be able to pick a toy. Um, there is tons of options here at PetSmart and any other um, uh, store that you go to. Okay, so here we are, you know, like pick out, do you want a collar or halter? So we are a big fan of the, the halter and um, can't really, can't tell you what the name of... Um, collapsed trachea. You have to tell them. Okay, a collapsed trachea is what you really want to worry about with smaller dogs. Which is uh, from, you know, like they can do it themselves by pulling so hard uh, against you, you know, and that's where you get a lot more control from the halter and uh, just an overall uh, safety reason of uh, a harness or some kind of halter. So we don't necessarily feel like there is one brand of harness or halter that is better. Um, it really is gonna depend on what your personal style is, what you like it to look like, um, what seems to fit well on your dog. I mean, you can obviously go with some of the really plain ones that are made out of nylon to if you are um, somebody who's really active outside and you wanna be able to have your dog carry a pack. Um, there's, uh, and then of course, there's also super fashionable ones. So it's gonna be what works well for you and your dog. Um, another question we often get is about leashes and what type of leash would be best. Um, there is so much out there on what type of leash. And again, I feel that this is so owner specific, dog specific. But I will say that when you're first taking your dog out, this is a great product to have. So this is a training leash. It is extra long. This one is 15 feet. Sometimes they're six feet, 10 feet. The purpose is that it is extra long. So when you're first getting your dog used to being on a leash as a puppy, we recommend putting on your harness 
and then putting on the leash and then actually using a carabiner or some type of clip to this end to clip to your pants because then your dog can follow you around the house, be with you, be used to the leash and the feeling, because that's a whole new sensation to the dog, and not get into something and you not forget to watch them. Because potty training success happens when you are watching for your dog's cues and keeping the dog clipped to you is a really good way to make sure you don't forget to watch your puppy. But as you can see, there is every color under the rainbow, every style you could possibly have. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people ask us about taking their dog in the car, and we recommend taking your dog in the car as much as possible if you're going to plan on taking your dog in the car as they get older. So, but the big deal on the way home with a tiny eight week old puppy, just carry them. That's not an issue. They love to be held. It's a new experience. But when you get past that, there are a lot of other options for in the car. So um, another one that I really like, Abby is over here. Um, so this one works well to um, clip to the seat belt. Um, there are also ones that actually clip into your seatbelt and work well. And then because schnauzers are, are schnauzers that we have are so small, um, using a booster seat is a good option. Um, so this, uh, this one, of course, is for a bigger dog than what you would need. But there are a lot of different options in this to make sure that your dog is safe while they're riding. Um, so you can, you can pick what would work well for you. Um, so... Dental health with schnauzers is a huge thing. Uh, we tell all of our parents that when they're two, you're more than likely gonna need to get their teeth cleaned. It's just part of, uh, part of owning schnauzers. But uh, to help that out, this is the, what our vet recommends, um, and this is what we use with our dogs. Uh, the enzyme uh, chews because it breaks down the plaque in their teeth. And then there are a few other options. So as you're working with your dog, um, if you start early, so with a puppy kit to brush their teeth, that works well. If you didn't brush your dog's teeth as a puppy, that's probably not gonna go super well. But there are a lot of sprays that you can put in, and I'm looking for one specifically, and I don't see it here that we have for some of the dogs that we got as they were older, and they weren't used to it. Um, they don't have it here, unfortunately, but it is a foam that you just put in their mouth, and it breaks down the plaque, so you're not having to brush. Um, but it is, brushing is best, um, and, uh, but if you have a dog that's not used to it, it does make it more complicated. So grooming. Grooming is a fact of life with schnauzers or any long haired breed. So there are a few things you need. So as you come into this section, there's a lot, and I get that, and people are like, what do I need? Um, so there are just a couple things that you need unless you're going to groom your own schnauzer. So we'll cover both parts. So let's say you're going to use a groomer and you're just gonna be doing some maintenance at home. So if you're just doing some maintenance at home, um, you are going to need a slicker brush. Um, this is gonna help you get through the coat. Um, a dematting rake. Um, this is gonna be your best friend for getting out any type of mats that are in their uh, fur. Um, it has these razor blades um, and it will cut through the mat and it is a lot more comfortable for the dog than just trying to get through it with a actual comb, which is another thing that you will need. And this, this is the style comb that we personally use at Happily Ever After. Um, it works really well to just be able to brush out their beard every day, brush out their coat. Um, in order to maintain just some small, um, some small touch-ups, and if you do happen to get something in there, just some ball tip scissors will be all that you will need. And um, if you are wanting to do um, a little bit of sanitary clipping in between, if you're gonna be going eight weeks, um, uh, a small set of clippers like this will work really well to just touch up the sanitary area around their bottom and um, where they pee. Now, if you are going to be doing your own grooming, um, this is an excellent, um, this, is our, this is actually our backup uh, clippers. We have a really high-end set that we use, um, but this is our backup. Uh, the, uh, 
the blades pop out and this one of course is glued on but it pops out this way so it's very easy to switch the blade and you are going to need what's called a 10 blade um, this is going to be what you would use for the sanitary area and underneath and the other blade that you will need is a 7fc a 7fc is going to be what you use on the body and it's going to be what you also use on the head you're going to go backwards on the head and that's going to be how you get your schnauzer look um, the other thing you will need is uh, some small toenail clippers Abby, if you want to come in a little closer, um, this size works well. There's lots of different brands, and I'm not really particular to any others. Honestly, with puppies, I just use human toenail clippers. Um, the other thing you would need if you're going to be grooming yourself is some thinning shears. These are going to be nice, too. Uh, these can help with mats and also keeping from being too puffy around the legs. Um, we also use curved scissors that makes it easy and straight scissors. Top Pod is a, a decent brand. There are lots of places that you can go uh, to get stuff. Um, and um, I do not actually have a preference on shampoo. Um, I get asked that a lot. Uh, any type of puppy shampoo is gonna be fine. Um, any, uh, and then beyond that, smells are so personal that I feel like you really have to pick what you like. Um, there are a lot of great brands um, that are out there. Um, I would definitely read reviews, but I literally use probably 15 different types of shampoo. It just depends. Certain dogs um, have drier skin, so I use oatmeal shampoo on them. I always use a puppy shampoo on puppies. My dogs that are white, I use a whitening shampoo. Um, I will talk on that when we talk about grooming and actually show the brands that I use, but they don't actually sell them here in PetSmart, so I'm not going to hit on that today. Um, the Chi line, I really do like. Um, they have a really good detangling spray. Cowboy Magic is sold at Tractor Supply, and that's probably my favorite detangling spray. Um, they also have a good deodorizing spray, and um, they have, I don't actually see it here, but I've, um, but uh, I also really like their volumizing spray. It makes, it works great on schnauzer coats. It makes them so puffy and beautiful. So one of the reasons that we shop at PetSmart is because PetSmart does price matching. Um, so if uh, I find a product that I absolutely love and Chewy has it cheaper, PetSmart will price match that. Um, they will, uh, you just take a picture with your phone, you know, screenshot whatever it is, and when you take it up to the register, they will price match that. Um, and so that's an excellent thing that PetSmart does that makes them a lot more affordable.